What's up guys? My name is Talon. Uh, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about getting high. As you can see I have my bowl here. So it's, well, it's not a bowl, it's more of a pipe because it doesn't have any carbs. As you can see, no carbs. Well, um, when you inhale the smoke, as so, <gasps> inhaling the smoke. Well, the longer you hold it in, I just blew out a lot of smoke right there. Okay. But, I could have held it in. Like, if you hold it in for a really long time, you'll ghost it. Well, you won't blow out any smoke at all. But you have to hold it for like, I don't know, usually for anywhere from 25 seconds to 40 seconds in order to ghost it. And that's blow out no smoke. And you're smoking weed to get high, of course. So the less smoke you blow out, the less THC you waste. And THC is what makes you high in weed, so... I mean, you don't want to waste the weed, especially if it's your buddy's weed and he's smoking with you or something. And you, you I mean, you want to be thankful, so don't waste it. But, fucking, you, you, in order not to waste it in only like 10 seconds, which is like a bong, they say a joint gets you high, and then... Like, it only gets you 17% as high, though, as you could be. Like, apparently a joint gives you 17% some shit. A, a blunt gives you the same amount as a joint. A bowl gives you, like, 30-something percent. And a bong gives you, like, 85%. And vaporizer gives you, like, 90%. But, I don't know. If you ghost it, you get 100% no matter what. Because no THC leaves your body. So, I mean, if you smoke a joint and you ghost every hit, you would be getting 100% of the THC. But, I was wondering why a bowl gets you more THC and than a blunt or a joint. Then the bong gets you more THC or vaporizer. And I, I was thinking on it. Did a little research. Um, did a couple tests. And. Well, fucking. I believe when the smoke goes in into your lungs. The reason. Why it doesn't come back out is because, of course, it's sticking to your lungs. And it's and that's how it gets into your blood system and it gets you high and everything. So, yeah. Well, if it goes in and it sticks to your lungs, what makes it stick to your lungs? And I think when, I, when you hit a bong, what makes a bong 85% <coughs> is... When you're hitting it, it's bubbling, so it's stirring up the smoke, so the, the smoke's constantly moving and stirring up when you hit it. You can even watch it. When you hit the bong, it stirs up into your lungs. So, that means the smoke is moving inside of your lungs, still stirring up. And, you, you like... It sticks to your lungs more because, of course, it's it's moving, so it's getting the more area of your lungs. So, that's why you blow out smoke after, like, holding it in for only 10 seconds of a bong, and you've almost ghosted it already. And opposed to a blunt, you could hold it for 40 seconds and still blow out a little bit of smoke. But, 
Um, I found out a way to fix that. To ghost a hit in 10 seconds for even a bowl or a blunt or a joint or anything so that you get 100% THC out of everything and you're not wasting it. And that is to like a cat, a cat purrs or a Mexican rolls their R's with your tongue. Well, I thought, what if you could do that inward and then you would get the rippling motion of the constant stopping of air and stuff while you're breathing in if you could do it inward. So that would almost be like bubbling or bubbles for a bong. So I sat there and practiced and practiced every day like and then tried doing it inward and it was just like and like kept doing it and it was just like finally like one day I was like and I could get it every single time and it was just more of a ripple effect every single time and now when I hit a bowl I can do that when I inhale so I get I get not blow out as much smoke it would be like okay I didn't blow out too much smoke there. I hold it for what, like fucking five, six seconds? If I would have hold it for another five seconds, I would have ghosted it. Or I could just continuously do more and I'll ghost it really fast. So, I mean, it's not hard to do. It just, it's kind of tricky at first. I mean, I suggest everybody practice. Because. I think this has a lot more potential for the smokers that do like dabs and stuff because you guys will sit there and do like humongous dab rips and like this fucking long and like this wide. You're just like two grams almost of dab and fucking like you blow out the smoke right after you get to inhale all of it because it's so much inhaling by the time you're like done inhaling you're almost out of breath but after you inhale it, it already bubbles it's already stirring up in your lungs and then you you can hold it in and then you can do more and that'll stir it up more even faster and then you, you can start ghosting those huge dab rips and that'll be even more impressive but, because I haven't seen anybody do that. Everybody can do a huge dab rip, but they blow it out right after. But, yeah. So, give me some feedback. Leave some comments below. Like the video. And I'm going to continue getting high.